Hi, welcome back to Auto Review. My name is Patrick and today I am presenting you this beautiful, awesome looking Audi A7 as a 50T FSI. Uh, this one comes along with a V6 engine, seven speed uh, transmission, um, producing 440 newton meters of torque and 300 horsepower, zero to 100 in 5.6 seconds and top speed is limited to electronically to uh, 250 kilometers an hour. So let me show you as usual the interior, the boot, and then we hit the road. Okay, so the A7 from the inside. First of all, I have plenty of space. I'm 184 tall. I have this much headroom left. One thing that I want to highlight right away is the headrest. There's really only a few cars out there that have a headrest that actually supports the head while driving. This is one of them. As you can see, I can adjust it to the front and to the back. And this is a really comfortable way of driving. So well done Audi for that. Uh, then what do we have? Uh, seven speed, as I mentioned. Uh, quattro, uh, this. Then we have this really beautiful and nice high, high resolution screen, um, which you can fold down as well. Uh, and automatically folds down when you actually turn off the car. Uh, two cup holders, some space uh, in the um, in doors. Then we have one little um, compartment here and a bigger one uh, on the bottom with a 12 volt power socket. Glove box uh, is kind of small, actually very limited, because we have the DVD changer, a six uh, times DVD changer in there. Uh, sunroof, and uh, well, the seats are really comfortable. They actually have a, f a function when you basically turn off the car, they pump back, and when you turn on the car, they pump up again. Um, easy entry, they call it. Uh, other than that, it's very nice interior. Obviously, build quality is top notch. Um, let me show you how much space within the back, the boot, and then we hit the road. Okay, so on the back side, or in the back, um, plenty of legroom, and you might not expect that even though the car has this very, uh, the line that is very dropping to the back, uh, I have enough headroom, I have still this much left, and uh, the seat is adjusted to me, so very comfortable car, very spacious, uh, other than you might not expect to, to have that much. Uh, nets behind the uh, seats, some space in the doors, uh, we have a 12 volt on the bottom, we have the separate AC unit, so it's a three zone AC unit, where you can adjust, actually it's a four zone AC unit, and we can adjust the temperature for every passenger uh, individually. Uh, so we have the unit here. Uh, we have the armrest with either you put the, which I really like is the emergency kit or the first aid kit, which is stock in here, or you have some space to put something else in. Uh, you do not have um, the uh, available option where you can open it and basically reach through the boots. So that's not on here. Two lights. Uh, ashtrays, which I don't like, um, you should not smoke in a car, ventilation on left and right, and a little hook here and here. Um, that's pretty much it, let me show you the boot. All right, so the A7 from the back. As I said, in the beginning when this car came out, it was very difficult to get used to the form factor of having a limousine in the front and kind of this very sleek design in the back, but I really, really like it now. Um, you see the line is very sporty with very sleek lights, A7 on the left, 50 TFSI Quattro on the right, the Audi Logan in the middle. This is the wing that actually opens up. And uh, let me just open it for you. Uh, you will see that the boot actually opens really, really uh, high. However, you can limit this with a button, basically when it's coming up, so you can, at any position, you can uh, lock it. Um, one thing that I want to highlight quickly is, very simple, but it's the sunshade in the back, uh, which is manually operated. However, it works, and it's very simple. So, um, boot is big. Uh, really a lot of space. Obviously you cannot put a TV inside or a cabinet uh, because you cannot close the boot then. It's during up to here. You have a full spare wheel be below. Um, it's quite long. You can obviously fold down the seat so you have quite a lot of storage space. And what I really like is this combination of a hook where you can hook basically something in the back and um, something you can put uh, basically um, um, tie something up to it. So this is really nice. And you have additional one on the bottom as well. Little net on the side, and that's pretty much it. So let me just show you quickly what I mean when you can stop it. Any position you can stop it going up or down. So because it opens quite tall, you have to be careful in the garage if you have a, a, a low garage. That's it, let's hit it. So, let's go. The A7. As I said, I, I like this car from the looks. And I really like it in regards to how it drives and how comfortable it is and uh, how spacious it is as well. I mean, as I said, you, you wouldn't expect the car to be that spacious when you look from it, look at it from outside. Obviously, it's very long, 
but because of the roof line dropping so much uh, in the back, you wouldn't expect that actually a full-size adult can sit there, and I had no problem whatsoever. So you can't put two adults in there uh, without any problems whatsoever, yes. Okay, <clears throat> so this one comes uh, with the V6, as I mentioned, 3 liter or 50 TFSI, uh, 300 horsepower, and I would say the engine is sufficient. Obviously you have the S7 and you have the RS7, uh, which are way more powerful, um, but I think this one is a really good deal. Well, it starts at 265,000 for the A7. Um, the one we're driving here, as you can see, uh, is 300 and I think 15 or 317,000. Uh, it is quite a lot of money. Um, competition for this car would be, or um, you could say, uh, the <laughs> competition for this one would be the CLS from Mercedes and the BMW Grand Coupe. Uh, when you look at the design point of view, how does it actually drive? Uh, as I said, it's very comfortable. Um, I Let me actually check how much I drove it. Uh, Start-stop actually just got on, turned on. As you can hear, um, just roughly 250 kilometers. Uh, I'll tell you, fuel consumption was approximately 12 liters, 12 and a half, which is decent for 3 V6 and with the size of this car, I think that's, uh, that's okay. Um, and I'm talking here from a point of view uh, being in the UE where the fuel is very cheap, um, 35 cents per liter, uh, euro cents per liter. Um, but I, I really, really like this car. So it has tons of space uh, for driver and passengers. Uh, it has, everything is very clear, very German, uh, which is good. Uh, the dashboard is super clear, very easy to read. Uh, now the engine turned on again. Uh, I like the screen. Uh, it's very high resolution, um, looks good. The size is good as well, which I usually have to criticize in most of the cars where the screen is too small. Again, one point I have to criticize, again, Audi still has no direct USB in their cars. They still have to buy this adapter and plug it in somewhere here at the bottom, uh, which costs you another 50 euro, 60 euro, which is not right. That, that they should really fix it in the next generation and not give it only one, but give it like two or three USB ports. Uh, because this is getting standard today. Now, build quality is superb as usual. Design is nice. You have this one long line going through the car. You have this wooden applications here, the metal one here. Uh, this is all soft touch, uh, which is nice. Uh, the wood here as well. The leather is very comfortable, electric adjustable. Uh, the seats are heated and cooled. Uh, cooled especially uh, important here in the UAE. Uh, sunroof is the smaller version. I'm not quite sure if we can get uh, actually a panorama roof on this one or not. Um, then we have two cup holders, as I mentioned. We have one compartment here, a little bit bigger one on the bottom. Um, in the back it's really comfortable as well, I have to say, and the boot is actually big. So overall i'm really happy with this car um zero to 105.6 seconds electronic limited 250 in the UAE. you cannot drive that either way and germany that's a different thing um it had a, this one has a head-up display and it shows the um, navigation as well in addition to the head-up it shows here and obviously on the screen as well and you have uh, for example i just put something in the next audi service center and it shows you like the next three steps uh, to go to not only the, the, the next one but next three which is good, I really like that. Uh, we have a, um, what do you call this? Blind spot assistant, works really good. It's not in the mirror, it's in the mirror housing, uh, which is nice. And you have a little uh, um, LED that actually indicates that you're blinking uh, in the mirror itself, uh, on the outside in the housing as well, which is nice. I really like that and I always highlight this in the Audis as well. Um, Things to criticize, okay, price, yes, it's an Audi, uh, obviously it's gonna be higher, same thing like Mercedes and BMWs, they're always a bit higher than the Japanese competition or the American competition. Uh, however, the build quality is great. Um, we have the start and stop, uh, we have really a few amenities, we have Bose sound system, which is really good. Uh, things that I would like to see in that price range, actually, I'm sure Audi has it, or I, Audi will have this, but it should be standard. Uh, would be a forward collision assistant, would be a lane departure assistant, would be uh, automatic parking and all these things that uh, either are available at the additional cost or not yet in this model or not yet at Audi. 
uh, which uh, for example if you watch the review of the Infiniti Q50S that I've done and uh, that car is fully equipped and the price range is just around 200,000 uh, dirham so it's a different car yes but what is available out in the market I believe the Germans should be the first to do that because they are the ones who pretty much invented the car with Mercedes um, but uh, it is superb built, it's a five year warranty, uh, the Audi gives you a service package so it's a really good deal if you look into a limousine that looks amazing, drives amazing and uh, value for money in regards to it's gonna keep the value is given as well. Um, that's it, thank you very much for watching, uh, give it a thumbs up please, subscribe to my channel, uh, like it, share it, uh, leave comments if you have any comments and ask questions in case you have any. Uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Cheers.